Good afternoon, Warren Township Schools. This is Dr. Mingle, Superintendent, with our return to school update for Thursday, August 6, 2020. Just a reminder of our timeline here, I want to thank everybody who participated in Monday's Board of Education meeting where the board approved the district's return to school plan and schedule, and the many people who participated in our information sessions on Tuesday throughout the day, even through some pretty trying circumstances as the storm was was blowing. Lots of information up on our website I'll point you to as we go forward in this presentation. Registration closed yesterday, as we know. We anticipate launching an August survey now next Thursday instead of this week. Uh, we have Board of Education meetings on August 17th and August 31st. The first one focused on distance learning, the second on health, safety, and operations. As a reminder, with our new school calendar, the first day for staff will be on September 1st and for students on September 8th. A huge thank you to everybody for their uh, in, enormous effort to get registrations into us, even while many people were dealing with power outages. We're still dealing, uh, I think, at three facilities in the school district without power. We know there are several thousand Warren residents also without power. I hope everybody is staying safe and made it through the storm okay. And again, thank you for what it took to get those registrations in. We very much appreciate it. As of uh, two o'clock this afternoon, we had 95% of our students re-registered with their selection of hybrid or distance learning with uh, ranging from 93% at Central and Mount Horeb up to 98% at ALT. Again, thank you to everybody for making that happen. Across the district, we have 18% of our students enrolled in the full distance learning option. That's a little bit higher than our estimate from our July surveys, but pretty close to the range when you add in people who said they were definitely or leaning towards distance learning. So that survey data was helpful in us projecting out. And now we know for sure, we have 18% of our students in full distance learning to open the school year. But you will see there's a quite a bit of a difference from school to school with 12% at Mount Horeb as a low to 24% at Woodland as a high. Breaking that down even further, we'll look at each of the, the schools a little bit more closely. So at ALT, you can see a low of 12% in grade three up to 28% in grade five. Notice that there's the bolding of grades three, four, and five indicate that we have 100% participation in the registration process at those grade levels at ALT. And therefore, we know that those are our final numbers. The other grids, we're still waiting on some registration so that we can finalize our plans. At Central, we have a range of 8% in grade five. So the lowest grade in Central is the highest grade at ALT, up to 26% at grade two at Central School. No, none of those are final. Mount Hora, below 3% in grade three to a high of 22% in kindergarten. None of those are final. And at Woodland, a, a low of 19% at grade three to a high of 29% at grade two, grade two being the only grade level where we have 100% participation. So quite a bit of range, which is something that will impact our final decisions about how we staff each school in each grade level and how we assign students to homerooms and cohorts. At the middle school, the range is a little tighter between 13 and 18% by grade there. A little more than a quarter of our families have waived access to transportation for the school year with a low of 23% at the middle school to a high of 34% at Woodland School. We also have uh, numerous students across the district who need district provided assistance to access the internet at the level required for the at home portion of learning, one to 3% at various schools. So what comes next? Well, we need the rest of the registrations in for sure. We're, we're definitely actively reaching out to those families so that we can finalize the information of our grade levels and then use that information to finalize our homerooms, cohorts and staffing decisions. The leadership team is working hard at that we began mapping some of that out today with the registration data as it stands right now, and we'll continue that process next week with the intention of sharing cohorts with families the week of August 17th, the week after next. And I know there's a lot of other decisions and um, cascading actions that take place once you know that information. So we're hard at work to get that to you just as soon as we can finalize the registration information. www.warrantboe.org, our website has a huge amount of detail uh, organized with these graphics now. So COVID-19 information has all of the communications that have been sent out all the way back into March. The FAQ will be updated with uh, additional questions as we move forward from the information sessions and other places. The full return to school plan and handbook, which is the 30 something page document the state required to back up the information that was shared in these other presentations is on the website now. The presentation that was pr made at the Board of Education meeting is available for everybody to see. Under return to school videos, there's the short little commercial about returning to school as well as the information session 
archives and then the reopening school facilities graphic, which gives some of the big ideas in a quick sentence for your, um, your access. Once again, thank you for all the support and patience as we move through. We'll continue updating as we go along. I hope everybody enjoys a wonderful weekend.